<clears throat> you think they have enough sketches in that show? They change sketches more than Seth changes hair color. Yeah, 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 this show was pretty good. Can we talk about Def Leppard now? No, 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 they had a lot of great new jokes. Let me think of, uh, oh wait, no, they didn't. Yeah, those are some new ideas. Those jokes were as tired as Courtney Love's vagina. I have a question. How come Skeletor has muscles all of his body from the neck down? What happened to his head? Is he mad at He-Man because He-Man slammed his head in some acid like when he was a kid and he somehow survived? I don't get it. Anyways, how does Skeletor talk? He has no managing muscle structure on his face. When his jaw just fall off, what the fuck is that? The first time he laughs, it would just hit the floor. Ha 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 ha, click. What is that? Never mind. <laughs> This is really weird, because uh, if I had a toy of myself on the actual I Love the Series, I'd have to make out with it. That's really screwy. Is that gay? You want to see Queer as Folk? I'll give you Queer as Folk. Come here, other me. <laughs> People often ask me, hey, Mike, have you ever seen that show on the Cartoon Network, Robot Chicken? And I always answer them in the same way. No. You can't say the Robot Chicken people don't know who their audience is because the opening credit sequence basically tells you, you are the chicken forced to watch this shit. The difference is that unlike the chicken, you have free will. You can turn it off, but you're still listening to me. You didn't care for me on VH1. You're not gonna like me on the Cartoon Network, but you're still watching. You're still listening to me talk about this. I guarantee you, 99% of you, nobody is holding you in bondage to watch this television program, and yet you're doing it right now. You're still doing it. Stand up, from, at least do this for me. If you're going to watch this garbage, at least stand up. Do a couple of jumping jacks, fatty. Get off the couch. Shake that gut of yours around a little bit. Burn a couple calories. Because, honest to God, you're killing brain cells. You're not going to lose weight that way. I know you think the plan is, well, I'm a little tubby. I'll just watch Robot Chicken. I'll kill some brain cells. I'll lose some weight. It doesn't work like that. You have to get off your ass and do a couple of jumping jacks. I promise you, you'll feel better about yourself. Maybe you'll even feel strong enough to go to the remote control and press it. When they first asked me to play Molar, my initial response was, I don't want to play a scary ghost dentist. But then I realized, hey, Mike, here's your only opportunity, maybe ever, to be cast as something other than a homosexual. Give it a shot. Well, the idea of Twinkie the Kid was always a bit of an anomaly. First of all, he was no kid. I mean, this was a grown Twinkie man. People talk about the gay agenda, and I was certainly never one to believe in it. But when you think about the Twinkie, you sort of have to question it a little bit. Here's a flesh-colored phallus filled with cream given to children, the sole purpose of which is to devour. Now, I'm not a conspiracist. JFK went right over my head. But when you start breaking down the Twinkie, you wonder if it's, instead of hostess, if it's homostess. Wow, shoots and ladders. Let's have a half-baked concept that clearly was written for two people who refused to do it, probably because they have artistic values, that shame to humanity. The whole episode should just be burned. Every one of them should, should be thrown away and the eyes gouged out of all who ever viewed it. The games stunk in the first place and we're gonna make stinky parodies of shoots and let What? This makes no sense to me. It stinks. Oh, Star Wars, hey, that's original. We're gonna do something about Star Wars because nobody's ever done that. But you know what, I'm gonna empty the trunk of my car and, and clear out all the crappy old toys I got and uh, get mom's uh, baby brownie set up and uh, we're gonna make some stop motion movies. Yeah, hey, that'll be fun. Yeah, it was fun in the sixth grade, Jagoffs. Wow, he man again, very topical because uh, that guy's really uh, in the spotlight. That's a hot one. They stopped making those like, what, 30 years ago? I thought the guy worked for Toy Fair. He ought to know this shit. Holy hell. A dentist? Yeah, hey, here's some smash action scenes. We're gonna put a dentist. I don't care if you're making fun of it. He's still a freaking dentist. It don't go nowhere. It falls flat. You understand? What, are you kidding me? A dentist. Hey. Hey, everybody. I'm Seth Green. I'm gonna do my own show. Yeah, I, I could have done that. But I chose not to. I chose not to because I don't want it. I don't want the problem, and I'm not a full of myself. The guy's full of himself. He wears t-shirts with his face on it. His car has movie posters on the sides of it of what's coming up with the plastic thing that looks like on top of the taxis. He drove around for about six months with one of those with robot chicken on it. You don't understand what I'm talking about? A demented human being. That's what I'm talking about. The guy's sick. They're airing this. You, you realize people aired this. People watched this. They could have had rotary runs, but this is what they chose to do. 
and people made it. It's sickening. It's, it makes me sick to my stomach. I just, right now, I just got a little sick. But can I have water? No? That's right, frogs. Lance Armstrong is in charge. That's right, you beret. Oh, shit. I lost it. Sorry. That's right, you beret wearing frogs. Y'all stink, and I'm in charge. Super President, welcome to the Louvre. Louvre. Oh, whoa. I broke it. My bad. Put it on my tab. <laughs> I'm a poet. I didn't know it. Woo! Two bikes in the wheel. That's all I need, baby. Two wheels in the truth. Super President, veto, 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 veto. Woo! Pardon me. Pardon you. I'm the president. Woo hoo hoo! Super President, seven time world champion. Woo hoo! You got two nuts and you can't beat me. <laughs> and then we'll get to the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Who's this bitch? Huh? You smiling at me? I don't see anybody else around, so you must be smiling at me. <laughs> I'll give you something to smile about. How about half of my nutsack? Huh? Huh? You like some cream in your coffee? How about some half a half? <laughs> Mr. Peanut, one nut. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Lance Armstrong got nuts. Mounds don't. <laughs> half set of balls in your mouth. <laughs> the fuck are you smiling at? You laughing at my balls? I don't give a fuck. My cry. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. You want to mess with me? You stupid son of bitches with your French's mustard and your Dijon. Hey, pardon me. How about that moan, Lisa? I'll make you moan. My ex-wife's name was Lisa, you son of a... I'm peeing on me. I'll make a man out of you. How you feel about a semi tea bag? Huh? How about that? Half a tea bag one time. No scoops of sugar. Huh? Huh? What you looking at? You long-haired motherfucker. I can't see below your waist, but you can see below mine. Look at this. Oh, Scott. God. <laughs> Cheryl, why? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, gee. Oh, 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 you stop looking at me with that enigmatic, enigmatic, eliminatic, illmatic smile. I know you. You just want to have some fun, huh, Cheryl? Couldn't have fun with half a nut? You son of a bitch. I loved you. Off I go! Hello? No, no, we're just checking. Okay, sure. No worries, Mike. No worries. It's all right, baby. It's gonna be all right. Hey, hey, and fear us because we're mutants? <laughs> Don't move that bag! Hate and fear us? Why? <laughs> because we're mutants? <laughs> Why? I'm normal. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, my robot brother. I'm Larvel Jones. Destroy all humanoids. Humanoids. Humanoid. I said that, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Bubba, man. Sorry. All right. Uh, get ready for this. It's probably going to kill your levels. I'm just going to warn you now. <laughs> okay. All right, I gave you the warning. Oh, man, that really felt like it. I warned you. Okay, okay. I'll show you a special kung fu fighting. That's Kung Fu fighting. Ow! I feel like James Brown. Ow! Ow! I feel good. Ow! Ow, Judge Land. Yo, honey, ow! Ow! Like I'm in people's car. Ow! Yes, be careful what you wish for, Devil Lewis Heaven. Merci beaucoup, mademoiselle. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Au revoir. <laughs>